Hi students, this is Mrs. T and I've got a little bit of an update about reaction papers that I need to give you all in general, but also there are a couple of changes to reaction papers and quizzes that I need to announce to you based on, um, based on your feedback from the pulse check quiz during week seven. So, uh, Many of you uh, from all of my classes, and I have five, mentioned that this noon uh, due date and time on each of these due dates, this, this noon time on each of these due dates was either confusing for you or you couldn't wrap your brain around it or you didn't like it. So um, I have changed the time of day for each reaction paper. So this is, if you look at... Um, if you look at course content and scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see this reaction paper and quiz guidelines thing that's been out there for you um, this whole semester. So uh, it's, it's still the same as it was before, except I've got this update on it marked, you know, at the transition of week seven and week eight. So we're in week eight right now. And when the uh, reaction paper journal is opened up for you this week, in Blackboard, you will notice that instead of a noon due time on October 17th, that you will have a midnight due time on October 17th. So that's based on your um, your feedback. If you already are in the habit of submitting it by noon, um, you know, and some, some other feedback I got was, you know, could they, could y'all work on stuff early? Well, yes, absolutely work on stuff early. As soon as the link appears in that particular week's folder, um, submit your reaction paper. Don't wait till Saturday. If you've got it done on Thursday, then submit it on Thursday and get, check it off your list. So yes, you can do stuff early, but this is the ultimate cutoff time now instead of that noon time. If you're accustomed to the noon time, don't change anything. Just submit it at that time. Don't confuse yourself and, and change it. This is just for um, a little bit more grace for all of us in case you miss the noon time uh, or in case it's more convenient for you to have that midnight cutoff time. Um, so I'm, I'm doing the same thing with the quizzes because that's what the feedback was for the quizzes also, since it had been, they had been due um, at noon every single Sunday of the, the week. Now they're gonna be due at midnight on that Sunday. So um, can you do it early? Yes, absolutely. If the quiz is available for you on Thursday in that particular week's folder, then do it on Thursday. Please don't wait until, um, until Sunday to do the quiz or or if you are accustomed to and you like your schedule of doing it before noon on Sunday, then don't change anything. This is just, again, for a little bit more grace for those of us who have been having a hard time remembering that sociology has noon due times and all your other classes have midnight due times. So anyway, don't change anything about your habits of completing the reaction papers and the quizzes if you like your habit of creating, of, of completing the reaction papers and quizzes. But if you need that extra 12 hours, I've included that extra 12 hours in our, um, in our course. So um, that's based on your feedback. So thank you for your feedback. Now, one little last thing before we transition from um, this video or finish up this video is I need to remind you about number nine on this um, reaction paper commandment sheet um, because a couple of you have gotten feedback on reaction papers from me that tells you that you can't get credit for your reaction paper that you've done because the only reaction papers that you have left to do require outside sources. So this is important. Please, um, please pay attention to this part. Um, the reaction papers must have uh, 10 of the, you must have 10 for full credit. Five of the 10 reaction papers must have what I call an outside source it looks like I've missed, missed the word source right here. I'll stick that word in there. Anyway, must have uh, five outside sources have to come in five of your papers. And what that means is a TV show, a movie, video game. Look, look at these things. I've got some things listed here. Um, you have to discuss something that came to mind for you when you were learning about the material 
or while I am talking to you about the material in the video lectures, if I suggest you could look this particular thing up and discuss how it relates to what we are talking about in this particular unit, um, if I make that suggestion, that is feeding you um, an opportunity to do a Google search and get some sort of outside source that you can talk about the sociology content as it relates to that outside source. So for instance, let me refer back to project one where I gave you a list of movies that you could use to uh, write about in the letter that you had to write as part of project one. Those movies could be considered, they are technically considered outside sources. They on their face, those movies don't have anything to do with sociology directly but you were able to take those movies or whatever movie you chose out of that list and relate the um, theories, one of the three perspectives to that movie that you chose. And so that's what I'm asking you to do here with an outside source. You can, if you would like, do an academic sort of research bit for your uh, reaction papers, but it can also be far less formal than that. You can simply mention that you saw this anime series, this particular episode of this anime that you really like, and you are analyzing it according to what we are learning about in sociology that particular week. So that's what you need to do is use your outside source to reinforce the sociology content, the sociology topics, or excuse me, cultural geography also, because this, this applies to cultural geography also. So the same thing that you need to do uh, for, if you're in my sociology class, you need to do in my cultural geography class also. Okay, so please, as usual, text me if you have any questions um, about any of this that I've gone over. Uh, you'll still see that the commandments say noon on them. I'm not going to change that wording, but you've got my change here um, based on your feedback. Please pay attention to my grades in Blackboard and look to see whether you have all of your regular reaction papers done already and whether the remaining ones that you need are outside sources. So, because um, I, I don't like for somebody to turn in a reaction paper and I can't give you credit for your work, but um, that's it, we're at that point in the semester where you've got to pay attention to which kind of reaction paper you need um, as we move forward. Okay, so text me with questions if you have any. Thank you. Bye.